Here we go. Uh, this, this is a lot of fun. Doing everything you're not supposed to do in a V8. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know what you're supposed to do on these electric unicycles. I just do as much as I can and have a lot of fun. But um, apparently sometimes if you push them a little bit too far, doing things they're not supposed to do, well, things like that will happen. Uh, fortunately, it was uh, just a fuse. And should you ever decide to take your V8 through the rigors and hell of, you know, four by four sticking mud and pine bark, well, this is what's gonna happen afterwards. I mean, thank God I have my pops. So uh, I'm just gonna let him do his thing and show you what's what. Uh, you know, it's probably not the best tutorial out there, but you'll get the idea of what you need to do in the event that this happens. And uh, you get to watch his sexy hands work. It's like ASMR for your eyeballs. This, I gotta get all the solder out of this hole and break it loose. Sometimes if I can just get enough solder out, this will come loose and I can just pull it out the rest of the way. Yeah, this is pretty tight. It's not, it's natural that this looks like this. You haven't burnt your circuit card at all because that's like the flux and, and the stuff that comes out of the braid that I'm using to suck the solder out of the holes in. And, and, and this circuit card can take a lot more heat than this than the soldering iron can give. This will clean right up with um, uh, isopropyl alcohol and, and like a, a trimmed acid brush. And we'll show you in just a second. Well, I like to take it, this is called an acid brush. It's used in soldering that you use for uh, putting uh, so solder paste on for on your stuff, but I'm not gonna use it for that. What I do is I get them, they're usually the brush is about that long so the bristles are loose. I trim them with a pair of scissors so they're, they're short and tight like that and they're good for cleaning up after your circuit card. So a little isopropyl alcohol I have in here to get the technical isopropyl alcohol the clean, cleaner stuff put it on your brush and that burned up residue from the from the solder paste and the solder wick comes right off and you want to clean that up before you continue and so you know you can see it's silver and shiny and clean as new you want to make sure you have no old, no old solder on there you want to get down to a nice clean shiny pad sides. Solder. 
make sure you get enough solder that it goes, gets wicked down into the hole all the way through. Oops. alcohol get the get the solder paste and then the other junk off of there you don't want to leave solder paste on there especially if you have acid solder because it'll eventually corrode the inside and then you want to look you only soldered on the one side it should wick through you want to look on the other side and make sure that you see a smooth solder flow up that up the leg of the component. And there you have it. We're good.